classic, simple, beautiful. We're making bruschetta on Chef Andy. Welcome back to another episode of Chef Andy. If you have not bruschetta the subscribe button, meaning subscribe to the channel, make sure to do so. And if you already are subscribed, slap a huge like on the video, leave in the comment section what you'd like to see me cook. Before we get into this recipe, I think I just need to clear up, you know, some of that American pronunciation of this dish. It's not bruschetta, it's not bruschetta, it's bruschetta, okay, bruschetta. Let's practice, right? Bruschetta. Okay, perfect. Now we got the name down. Let's make the dish. So you're gonna want to start out with some fresh heirloom tomatoes. Remember, this is the base of the whole dish right here. So you want to get good quality tomatoes. And I love the heirloom tomatoes. And some tomatoes can can be green, yellow, red, brown, different colors. So we have our beautiful red and green tomatoes. We're gonna slice these up. We're gonna dice right into these. I like using different colors because it. It makes the whole dish just light up. Look at this heirloom tomato though. Look at the veins on that tomato. Isn't that incredible? Okay, so when we're cutting these tomatoes, we're just gonna slice them up into little pieces, not too fine and not too perfect. Just cut them up. Beautiful, we've got our tomatoes all nice and chopped up, just about this fine, and they don't have to be perfectly diced and sliced. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna put them right into our bowl. We're gonna add salt to extract as much water out of these tomatoes as possible. So be generous, mix it around, put some more. Now I'm gonna take some fresh garlic, two cloves, crack it open, and I'm gonna put it inside the tomatoes. So what's gonna happen is the tomatoes are gonna take the flavor from the garlic. So we don't have to mince it up and you, you know, when you have your bruschetta, you don't get huge chunks of garlic. It'll just have that flavor of it. So we're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes, but while it's sitting, we're gonna get our bread all ready. Now it's time to get the base of the bruschetta, the bread. I'm using Como bread, this stuff's amazing. But before we cut it, I wanna get my skillet and I wanna turn this on medium to medium high, because what I like is I like the bread to get nice and crunchy, but also a little burnt. I love that burnt flavor. So I'm just gonna cut right into this nice thick pieces, this beautiful hard bread. Awesome, now I'm gonna take my hard bread and I'm gonna throw it on my skillet. I love the skillet, I love cooking with it. It's gonna cook it even, it's gonna cook it great. I'm gonna take my olive oil, I'm gonna put that right on top. And now I'm just gonna let it wait until it gets nice and brown, but also a little bit burnt. While that's cooking, I'm gonna get my basil ready. So I'm gonna take these beautiful basil leaves, take them right off the stems, and then a little trick to make these into nice strips is you're gonna stack up the leaves, and then you're gonna roll the leaves, and then we're gonna cut them into strips. Beautiful, that's about enough basil. So we have everything prepped and ready. Let's check our bread. All right, so once out of our bread is ready, so I'm gonna flip these guys. Woo, these are hot. Oh, and you can see they're, they've got a little burntness to them. That's how we want it, that's how we like it. Okay, we're gonna let that other side cook and then we're gonna put it all together. Our bread is nice and crispy and a little bit burnt, so we're gonna take our plate. Woo, and throw these on the plate. Man, these are hot. Watch your fingers, folks. So I'm gonna let these sit and rest, and I'm gonna take our tomatoes, and I'm gonna drain them. So look at all this liquid that's like already built up. Look at it just run out. And then also, we're gonna take those garlic cloves, and we're gonna get rid of those. Get all the garlic out. Perfect. All drained out, ready to go. And before I forget, we're gonna drizzle some fresh olive oil right over the top of those beautiful tomatoes. We're gonna plop in our basil, our basilico, mix that around, and now we're gonna place our tomatoes and basil right on top. Wow, look at these colors, it's incredible. Now what I like to do is take you know a little bit of basil and put that right on top. Wow, these are amazing, I gotta try this. <laughs> it's so good. The acidity from the tomatoes, amazing. Fresh basil. Another nice thing is that my bread, it's not too moist and it's not too hard. Some bruschettas you bite into it, it's like almost gonna break your teeth. This one's got that perfect consistency. And really when you use fresh tomatoes, 
you really can't go wrong with this dish. Well guys, that is the bruschetta. I hope you liked it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to do so. Comment down below, and I'll see you next time in the kitchen. Ciao, Benedict. Mm.